Welcome to Brother Coaching Friends. Subscribe to our Brother Coaching channel. And click on the bell icon to get the update of notification of basic science videos. Hello friends. Welcome to Brother Coaching Guys. Today topic is static friction. In this lesson you will learn what static friction is and how it is different from kinetic friction and you will learn it from the simple experiment. You will also learn a formula that can be used to calculate the force of static friction and see some examples of static friction in real life. So let's get start. Have you noticed that it is so difficult to push your bed alone? You have to take help of more than two men to push the bed. Or if you try to push your couch across the room, the first push is the hardest part. Maybe people assume that's nothing more than psychological, but there really is a physics reason for it. The reason is static friction. Sometimes, when a small force is applied on a body, which is lying on a horizontal surface, it does not move at all. It indicates that some force acting on the body in a direction opposite to that of applied force. Such opposing force is called static force. Or friction, in general, is a force that makes it harder for two objects to slide alongside one another. Static friction is the friction that exists between a stationary object and the surface on which it's resting. If we go on increasing the applied force, a stage comes when the body sets into motion. Once the objects have already started moving, kinetic friction takes over. This is the friction that exists between two objects, moving relative to each other. Which we can understand it from the simple working model. As you see, that I take horizontal surface, which is fitted with a frictionless pulley at one end and one wooden block place on this horizontal surface which is tied up to the thread at one end and passed it through over the pulley another end of thread tied to glass to which we add some weight to move the wooden block we add some weight as you see wooden block doesn't start moving that is static friction which opposes the motion of the object. So we add some more weight to the glass. At the time where applied force is greater than the static friction, the wooden block starts moving. So when bodies start moving kinetic friction take place. As we discussed earlier that static friction is greater than kinetic friction, which we see in this model. As the wooden box just begins to slide over the surface, it is easy to keep moving once it start moving. So it is easy to move the couch across the room once it starts moving. Because the sliding friction or kinetic friction is lesser than static friction. Now question in our mind. What causes friction? If you were to see an extreme close up of an otherwise smooth surface you'd see that it contains a whole landscape of mountains and valleys pits and bumps these imperfections cause two surfaces to grip each other and make it hard for things to slide but when an object is stationary there is also something called adhesion between two surfaces Adhesion is where two non-moving surfaces stick together slightly due to some light chemical bonding between the materials. This is what makes static friction so strong. Now equation for static friction. As we know, force is a push or pull which we measured in newtons n friction is one such force 
we can calculate how many newtons of frictional force there are between two surfaces. Using this equation, in this equation coefficient of friction is just a number that represents how much two surfaces grip each other. As we discussed earlier that two surfaces grip each other due to adhesion or imperfections on the surface of the objects. So as we increase the smoothness, the griping of the two surfaces decreases. So coefficient of friction depends on the surface of the objects. Various objects have different coefficient of friction. Now normal force is the force a surface applies to an object to keep it sitting on a surface. Without a normal force, objects would fall through to the ground because there would be nothing to hold them up. On a flat surface, this normal force is equal to the force of gravity acting down on the object. And this can be calculated by taking the mass of the object in kilograms and multiplying it by the acceleration due to gravity. So for example, if a block is resting on a slope with a coefficient of friction of 0.1 and the normal force acting on the block is 2 newtons, we can use the equation for static friction above to calculate the force of static friction between the slope and the surface. The equation for static friction is almost identical to the equation for other kinds of friction, such as kinetic friction. The only difference is that instead of the coefficient of static friction, you would use the coefficient of kinetic friction instead. Now look some real life examples of static friction. Static friction is what keeps your car from sliding down a hill when the parking brake is engaged. It's also what stops your furniture from moving at the slightest touch. It's why your keyboard tends to stick to the desk if it's left in place too long. In fact, whenever you try to move a stationary object, static friction is at work. Now see more examples of static friction in real life. A tightened bolt. If too loose, it may shake loose and fall out. But if properly tightened, there is strong static friction between the threads of the bolt and the nut. And it won? T come loose. A towel hanging on a rack. We expect it to stay put. However, if one end is too long, we may come back to find the towel on the floor. Because the weight difference overcame the static friction between the towel and the rod. Everywhere around us at all times are numerous examples of static friction keeping things in place where we expect them to stay. Hopefully you understand what static friction is, how they act and how they differ from kinetic friction and how we can see it in real life. So if you really understand it and like it, please share it with your friends and comment on this video. And please subscribe to our channel for watching basic science videos and more. For more updates you can follow me on Facebook page www.facebook.com slash brother coaching center. You can also follow me on my Instagram page www.instagram.com slash brother coaching. Last thanks for watching. Bye guys.